Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, so let's thank our members first, Overland 11B, Cots and Crazy Bull, thank you for being the full crew members, thank you all the Fox Bay members and all the Fish Bay members and make, and make sure the, to subscribe to see more. So today we are flying out the A4N with the Shafir 2, obviously as I said last week the Shafir 2 was um, buffed, basically it was buffed and it is kind of even, I mean it's better than the A9D by a lot <laughs> right now. And kind of very similar to an M9G. I think the M9G is a tiny bit better still uh, because of its speed, but it's still not by much, you know. And burn time is a little bit better and stuff. But as you see, the Shafir is pulling a lot of G's. As you see, it feels very, very good, very, very good, especially with an aircraft that is 9.3, you know. And that's what we want to talk a little bit about it today. I think, uh, obviously, we have still a lot of BR compression in some areas over here. Uh, so, every single match that I did on this aircraft, it was just basically an up tier, you know. Which makes you think that it is an a hard aircraft to fly. Because it is, because once you don't have, I always talk about it, uh, once you don't have the speed capabilities, not even to up... Uh, on Harrier it makes you always on a defensive position as you see here you know uh, so it is an, a very complicated aircraft in that manner you know that you are always on a defensive when you f basically fight you know uh, sometimes you will be on an offensive obviously but, but normally you are just like on a defensive and trying to shoot a target while somebody else is, is attacking you just because you don't have the energy to run from a fight or to get a better just a better feeling on how the battle will go and try to get a better p position you know because we don't have the speed to do it you really don't so yeah it is i mean if it if it's going to face an 8.7 an 8.3 it's going to dominate so much this aircraft because as you see, I'm getting, you will see that I'm getting a lot of kills with the Shafirs, especially with the Shafirs. And if I'm going to compare it to all the 8.7s that we have, this aircraft is amazing. Uh, it turns better than them sometimes and it accelerates very well and the max speed is pretty alright. And especially with this missile, yeah, it's amazing. Um, another thing that you have to consider, obviously we have the Defas. They are not the greatest cannon ever, but I still think they are they are better than the, the I think it's the Mark 12s that the other A4s have it, the American ones. So it is a very, very good aircraft, very good aircraft. As I said, the only problem with it is that we are facing a lot of up tiers. A lot of 10.0s, 10.3s, 9.7s that have R6s and stuff like that and Magics. I mean, the only... Um, alright part about it is that we are we have the flares which helps a lot uh, a lot of aircraft don't have flares at this BR so that makes it kind of a a good mix you know but as you see the range on the ship fitter is just amazing it's, it really is a very good missile uh, I plan to do a video on the future with the Sa'ar as well because it's a very bad aircraft but it has uh, the Shafir 2 as well and it is 9.0 so yeah, just if you have one of these aircraft, just use the the Shafir, okay? And especially an aircraft like the Mirage uh, 3CJ, that it's an aircraft that doesn't it doesn't have uh, the the magics, you know. It is a 10.0 aircraft, but it doesn't have the magics that the normal Mirage 3 from the uh, from the French have it. Uh, it only has the M9Ds and the R530s. Uh, so the Shafir there uh, it. Because it is an M9D, the Shafir will be better. Okay, so just consider using this missile. It is completely different than um, than it was before, and it is really, really worth it. You know, uh, you will see a lot of aircraft. Just obviously, it is a, a lot. Um, it's susceptible to flares still, and it's something that most aircraft have a problem with, or most missiles have a problem with, in a general way. So yeah, this was kind of a kill stolen, I think, but I don't know if the guy was going to die, so I just decided to shoot a missile, and yeah, uh, so yeah, a very light, very kind of nimble aircraft, but still, it is a Delta Wing, so you have to be careful with one thing about this aircraft, especially in these up tiers, is that you normally lose a lot of energy turning, 
Um, so just try to maintain a very good level of energy because if you just turn, 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 eventually you will lose a lot of energy and you will just become kind of a brick in the air and that makes it kind of a kind of a problem, right? <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, this match was over, uh, that match was over, uh, the Su-7 just jumped it out and yeah, we eventually move on. Uh, as you see, I'm fighting an A5 here, I'm fighting A10s with M9Ls, I'm fighting MiG-21 SPSs, which can be a very problematic aircraft to, to destroy. And yeah, as you see, going for flares. Shot another one because I saw he just preparing himself to actually uh, deploy bombs, you know. And I knew he was not going to pay attention too much for my missile there. So yeah, but again, another A5 try to just um, lose the missile that he shot before it's a magic so it's always a difficult missile to avoid sometimes but he got destroyed by the AV-8 so basically every aircraft that I'm facing and that I'm fighting with are superior aircraft than mine uh, so that makes it, it makes it kind of a bit of a problematic aircraft I, I understand that but still as you see you can fight fine with it you just have to ha kind of have patience uh, to not choose targets too much. Um, as you see here, basically one of the only aircraft that are slower than me in this BR, which is the A-10. So yeah, you have to just have that in mind. You have to have the paci patience to just know that you are not going to catch anybody. Basically that's it, you know. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this aircraft. I think it's a... An amazing aircraft it's the best a4 that we have and the skyhawk in, in general it's a very very fun aircraft it's just a very it's very different and look at this range i mean he went for the flares but yeah it's a very very good range missile especially for such a low low speed target i really wanted to understand what this guy was doing turning like that or yeah doesn't make me doesn't make it too hard to actually hit him so yeah another aircraft destroyed go back to get the MiG-21 there so getting a lot of kills maintaining the energy a lot of ammo to be honest for such a high caliber gun here I did a mistake as you see I shot the missile but the missile accelerated too fast to actually get the guy uh, on that flight path and then the guy just he just basically went upwards and try to run a little bit as you see and I just didn't have the energy to actually fight him if I had a missile there he would have died uh, there are some certain situations he was like three point something kilometers four kilometers but when the guy just stalls it out or in general when people are flying in a high altitude the missiles are very very effective very even an M9B could have gotten there to be honest uh, because it, it is just a way that you can get a lot of people very easily you know try to get a shot there it's a MiG-21S so I just I will not be able to catch him anytime so I just try to maintain a little bit of energy there and just try to to just follow him a bit uh, but eventually the match was over we ended up lo losing that one uh, but yeah as you see here another up tier so every single one of the matches that I played we were in an up tier you really have to be careful with the F5s they can be a very pain to, to, to destroy uh, the Su-25 also can be a very problematic aircraft to destroy um, as you see now we have the uncaged seeker so it makes it a little bit better to actually get kills and good shots as you see it burned to the whole process um, of the target tracking you know and basically man it has kind of like and, and that was a very close shot there as well uh, but um, the missile has five seconds of burn time so it is a, a, a missile that has a lot of burn time a lot of energy to just get the guy and as you see here even the F5 being very much uh, critted it is hard to actually just try to maintain a, very, a level of dogfights that I can just be good and it but I ended up dying for the MiG-21 there 
Uh, here we have another match, another t up tier. So if you are going to get this aircraft, just remember a lot of up tiers happening right now. Maybe when the um, BR changes uh, are live, I don't know when they will go live. Even I mean, rec I'm recording this on Monday, uh, this third. So uh, we might see this week the the changes on BR. You know, uh, so if the BR changes are on the day of the release of this video. Uh, make sure to just count on that. Maybe the BR, are, I mean, the, the 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 matchmaking is just different, you know. But right now, it is just a very hard matchmaking. Uh, and even with that, it's an aircraft that just can hold its ground, you know. It really does hold its ground. Uh, that was a good tracking missile, but the other guy shot a missile that was closer. And then, yeah, yeah it was an R60 even. So the acceleration of my missile is way slower than everybody else's obviously because it is six five seconds of burn time it's the same principle that we have comparing the 9j with the, the g for example that you just have a very much um a longer burn time with a, lo a slower acceleration obviously in uh, these longer ranger missiles but um in dogfights it's always better to have shorter ranges with shorter um burn times you know because the burn time would just give the whole energy that the aircraft needed on that situation because you are close to the target so yeah it's something that you have to consider fly flying with those missiles as well uh, with these missiles right so yeah 810 there trying to get a shot with the defus missed completely but he turned on my nose and yeah very easy to kill the A10 I don't know if this is realistic, but the A10 is just a very easy aircraft to kill. It's not like the Su-25 in game right now. T2 coming up. So basically, every single aircraft that I faced, I didn't. Fa I mean, I think once I faced an F-86K, but I didn't even kill it. But most of the aircraft are just up tiers, up tiers, up tiers. You know, AV8 here. just trying to maintain the as you see I'm always on a defensive when I'm attacking somebody eventually I try to get back to it uh, but I'm always on the defensive you just cannot choose the, the the position of a target to attack normally only if it's an A10 because then you are faster than it uh, good shot good kill let's proceed for the other targets obviously we have the T2 there I'm kind of I, I kind of have a flu, so sorry about my breathing and my my and my voice right now. If it's different, it's just that yeah, not feeling so good. Very amazing cockpit there. So I think the T2 was the last one, and yeah, he was going for a head-on, so I went for it. He was trying to, I mean, he was coming directly to me. So oh no, he didn't. Oh no, yeah, he did. Right, see. Miss, miss, it, miss it and yeah he has just not enough energy to kill me so I just ended up eventually I got him I missed that one but yeah let me know in the comments what you think about the Shafrir 2 what do you think especially about this aircraft I think it's an amazing aircraft I really love to fly it but yeah I hope I see you guys on the next one and bye guys see you subscribe